We spoke about this many times, that there is a creature and there is a creator and there has to be a connection between them, a state where they can meet. How can they meet? The creature is complete reception, the creator is complete bestowal. So we learn the known example of the host and the guest. The creator is like the host. He wants to give. He prepares refreshments for the creature, so to say, five plates, and the creature doesn't want to receive those five plates. Later he says, okay, I'll receive only in order to bestow upon the creator. So then he approaches the table that way and the plates and then they meet in mutual bestowal. The creator bestows pleasure to the creature, the creature be receives the pleasure in order to bestow contentment to the creator. How does it happen in the world, meaning in the system? How does that principle go down? So there is a place where the souls exist. It's called the worlds of Bria, Yetzira, and Asiya. And down below here is this world, which we are in the meantime. If, with our point in the heart, we will break into where the souls exist and it is here in the world's Bria Yetzira Asiya, also called Bia. Here is where the broken souls are. They're still not corrected. So say I come there with my point in the heart and I discover my broken state, that I don't want to bond with the others that I am hateful towards everyone. To the same extent, I actually hate the Creator. But I'm not really aware of that because that's unpleasant to me. But it's really the same with respect to the creatures or the Creator. It's one and the same. So I discover that I'm broken, also called recognition of evil, to the point and the extent that I recognize the evil through the group. I have a group and the teacher, and books, and when by using them I awaken the importance of the goal upon myself, then I have recognition of evil and the importance of the goal. And as a result, I begin to cry, to ask, and then my request rises above what is called the parsa. What is the parsa? It's a condition. It means I want to achieve bestowal. I want to go through a correction. If I want that, then there is no parsa. There is no condition, no wall. And then I become included in a system called malchut. Or nukva. Nukva means female. Or Knesset Israel, or Shechinta, which means divinity. Well, there are many names for that. And that is the sum total of the souls. All the souls, this is where they are. They can't go above that. This is where they can be included inside the Malchut. But Malchut is connected with the second Paltsuf called Zeranpin, also called Blessed Be He. And if Malchut receives from me my desire, some deficit, then she raises it to blessed be he, to the creator, and she receives light from there, that light comes to me, corrects me, and then I once again enter there when I'm corrected, and I, or I then have a connection with the creator. I 
rise to malchut and become connected with the Creator. This is how it works. The first address is give me the strength, the power, and the second time with that strength I rise above.